Afternoon guys, welcome back to Gaza Sky Pond. Well, we're on with uh, doing a little bit more with the uh, filter system and the pond. I've got the net up and ready to go. A couple more new bits to show you. Um, I've also, a bit of a, an apology, um, sorry that there was no Thursday night uh, pond talk live. Um, like I said, I had a family funeral to go to. so reasonably excused we'll resume as normal again next week um, I'll take you down and let you have a look what we've got and what we've got to, what we've got going on so as you can see there guys this has all been in and fitted in temporarily so that I could just dis disconnect it bottom drains there good to go pipe works in nets all up out of the way which I'm so glad I had on because uh, the herring has been back twice since the first time I've seen it, so he's definitely interested in my stock. But you definitely ain't getting any of them if I've got anything to do with it. So, what we've done, what we've been out and bought is... Oh, there we go. A flappy valve. So that the uh, water in the pipe will stop returning from the pump back down into the pond and stop filling up the pond rather than you know it's flowing back out of the filter system which i knew it was going to do i just needed to get hold of one um, at the time when i went to go get the other bits and bats and the parts they didn't have any of these in stock so we've got one now and it's a nice easy release on the top you can just unscrew this cap clean off the little valve should it ever get clogged or blocked up easy access to it and it is uh, just a compression fitting straight to the normal pipe work so we've got that, so all I'm going to do now is with the pipe cutter, take a section of the pipe off, fit in the valve, get out that into place, bang the retro bottom drain back on, and then have a go at seeing, well, we're back filling this pipe again. I've also got uh, a gate valve to fit, put in and put in place. Thanks very much for the tips, guys, of where you all think I should need them. I, I did go try to go, actually go get a couple more this, uh, this well, this morning um, I had a blowout on the van so I went to go get a tyre repair and then I was going to go see if I can get one to put in here because someone made a comment as to say um, if I ever need to service the pump I'm going to want to stop all this water from flowing back out which was a brilliant shout I could deal with another one to go in at that side there to prevent this from flowing back as well and I won't get any of the water that's in this pipe pouring all over the floor I won't get any of the water that's in this pipe pouring all over the floor if I ever need to service my pump or the UV that means I've got a means of disconnecting it and then I was thinking of either putting one in here sorry, there we go, one in here or perhaps maybe one at this end now there has been a couple of people that spotted and because like an idiot, I was rushing, uh, trying to get them all glued together. Let's see if you can spot the mistake. That's how it should have been, guys. And I did it the wrong way. So I've got some joints to straighten these out with, and I've got to, so I can take these out, put in a put in a, a, a straight connector, so I can reuse a little bit of the section of the pipe. Get these out of here by heat gunning them out and rolling them out with a pair of pliers I've never done it, seen it done hopefully it works and then I'll just be putting, I've got two two replacements a second one just here, so we've got a few bits and bats of spares this one's from inside the barrel wants to go back in there when I'm done and then a couple of straight joints should I need to add or repair any of this pipe work back together 
rather than wasting it for, I've got plenty of solvent glue so I thought I'd just go with uh, trying to see if I could make use of it again there has been a few comments as to whether or not it'll work well if it doesn't then it'll be adjusted as I stated in the past I'm not uh, claiming to be the grand designer of this and it isn't a remake of or alteration it's just what I was going with for the area that I've got to work in obviously I needed some kind of a shelf up there so I'm limited as to how much I could take this one up or down but it's you know a couple minor alterations to pipe work and a few minor alterations to a bit of pipe work if needs be if it does need to be then so be it it'll get done it's, I'm enjoying doing the, the build of it and I'm enjoying making it and it's a process of elimination as we go through it I will see what works and what don't work and the uh, control is in and fitted in place all I need to do then is just plug it in and then I can operate it I can isolate it with this button and speed up and slow down with that one with those two uh, the other one is my pop it up here so we can see it a new air pump turned up so we've got that along with a bag of I well, don't think I'll be using this what I want to really do is put in the little brass connection in the end and then get nice connection in the end there put that in here and then get a splitter and have one into here and one into here and this one I don't know if I'm gonna have one in there but if I do then I'll just get a free way of one if I can if possible if not then I shall come up with some other means or method of being able to alter it to make it go three ways ideally what I want to do is having it split three ways but with some kind of a tap valve on it so that I can turn the valve when I need to have this one constantly moving and have this one just for boiling up when I'm cleaning and have this one just for boiling up when I want to clean as well so that I can isolate them and have the most flow going through just the one if it's too much I can always turn it down then if it's on a valve and reduce the amount that it's turning it over that's the idea that's what I'm going for so first of all I'm going to get this fitted get the pipe cut and then uh, we'll uh, pick back up again and show you what's going on afterwards so basically all this is is just a Stanley blade inside, you push it over your pipe, twist and turn, cuts your pipe, saves all the bits and bats and mess and you get a nice neat cut, puts a slight chamfer on it as it cuts through. So I'll get that cut done and I'll get back to you in a tick. Alright guys, there's the, uh, the flappy valve which I'm always going to be able to see because it's bright white, it's the only thing that meh, yeah, I'm not too happy about but um, I might actually turn it yet slightly to one side so that that actual valve bit is not sticking up it's nothing sharp on there but again it's something else that they might be able to bump themselves off on so we'll uh, it's in it's on the next thing to do was um, what I have done is I've just uh, cracked this off to allow the air out of the pipe and a load of air came out with a minimal spill but what I am going to have to do at some point is I'm going to have to let the water out of there anyway but I just want to test it for sat to now and see if I can get it up and running so what I have done is I've got this ready to go once I've got this I'll cut this pipe and then sorry cut this pipe and bang this in between there that way then when I ever want to isolate I'm only going to lose a couple of inch of water and the pipe now back to the pond with the flappy valve on is in, in in situ so the only thing really left to do now is plug it in and see what happens there we go it's running The barrel's filling up, it's flowing from this one. I'm going to grab a torch so you can see. It's maintaining that level there. And it's flowing into this one. Ooh, wow, filling out pretty damn fast. 
obviously it's on full pelt at the moment it's not raising anything above that line what I will do is mark it then I know whether or not it goes above that line but it's pulling water out of the pond and when it starts to fill up this barrel I'll be switching it off and seeing how it goes well slowing it down a little bit so it's in it's running it's pushing fill there so let's see see how it does this one's filling up pretty damn quick hopefully this one will spill into the into the third barrel but obviously when it gets to the three quarter full level in there there we go flowing into the third and I'm going to have to knock that off and tweak it down a little bit because it was rising up there a little bit so we're just going to have to try and balance it So, I'll get back to you in a bit guys, when I've done a little bit of tweaking on it. So guys, I'm going to need to do some adjustments. Um, as a lot of people did say, it probably wouldn't run without being staggered. And although it does run, and it is running now, but it's on the lowest setting, which is obviously not enough, it's not pushing enough flow through. So I'm hoping now, with a few adjustments that we can get it running and running right if not then we'll go back to drawing board and we'll, uh, we'll adjust whatever we need to do but I'll let you have a look see what uh, so you can see what's happening right guys well it's running at present it's on the lowest setting it's been running for three hours straight there is no media in there I appreciate that and it will most definitely overflow 100% if I step it up one more or two speeds it starts to overflow so as a few people did say it'll need to be stepped and all I can say guys is yeah you were right but at no point did I ever say you wasn't and I did say that if it needs to be adjusted I will make adjustments now the way I'm gonna adjust it is first of all obviously we've got the first bit which are just down there these bits here I'm just shining torch on it so you can see these bits here and here I'd already messed up because I was rushing trying to do this well that well that one that one that one that one that one and that one all at the same time and I stuck them in the wrong way around somebody did point it out to me and I, I hadn't even noticed it myself and then when I came out and had a look I thought he's right I have so thank you very much mate, appreciate your uh, your feedback and your comments, um, what I'm going to do is get them removed, I have two new ones, that's one there and the second one, so I've got two of them, so I can get those replaced, now to do this now I'm going to have to do what everybody else has said in the past, or I'm not saying everybody else but a few people have said, um, I was questioned as to why I'd gone for it being straight and not being stepped. Well, the reason, the only reason why was just purely because of the amount of height that I've got up here. Um, I'm going to bring this one up, hopefully this one in situ, and on this one, I'm going to cut the stand down. And then that will be able to lower that one, that one will stay in situ and raise that one up. Now, it's not that much of a big deal to do, really. A breeze block, two breeze blocks on there. And I can take that up by four inches. Cut this one down four inches and I've got a four inch step down on each one. Hopefully four inch will be enough and if anybody thinks it needs to be, be more please do let me know if you think it needs to be more than four inch. I don't know. It's certainly going to make it better than what it is right now but what my idea is now to do is to cut through a pipe here, cut through a pipe here, extend this piece by putting in um, one of these but a two inch one rather than an inch and a half one and then just put the the joints in in here and here and then uh, I should be able to just add a little piece of pipe that's what I'm going for as you can hear it is running now but this part this part's leaking like crazy as you can see but it's literally just pushed in 
it's not it's not in in any way shape or form so it's leaking from there it's trickling down the pipe but i've not sold them welded doors because i wanted to check and make sure that if it worked if it worked job to good and if it didn't then obviously i needed to make some alterations and i half expected i would do you know we're, we're all i'm only human give it a go try i'll see what it did and learn from it that's what i'm doing at the end of the day i'm talking about six inches of pipe four clip uh, four joints i've already got some joints for this one and i've already got the new pipes for them uh, top side it's it's a tenner yeah it would have been maybe 20 quid max yeah it would have been better to save 20 quid but i'm not going to learn no if i don't have a go at it so that's what i are doing i've enjoyed doing the process enjoyed doing the build of it and now I get to tinker a little bit more. Yeah, would I have a lot rather had it done and right first time? Yes, I would. But, um, yeah, hindsight's a wonderful thing. It can be changed, it can be altered, it can be adjusted. The flow at present is, I'll show you so you can have a quick look. Temporarily, it's running just through. I've just taken all this lot apart so that I can get it in and running. That's the flow we've got coming from, from the drain now, uh, sorry, from the return now. I'm hoping that I can get that running a lot faster. But I will say one thing, the, the bottom drain has already cleared a lot of muck off the bottom. It's not been filtered out, but it has taken a lot off the bottom surrounding it. So I'm happy with that process of it. All we need to do now is get the return a bit faster, and then we can up the speed a little bit, and we can get a bit more of a return over coming back in. One thing I am impressed with is, so far, what I've seen from the bottom drain. Everything and all the way around it, this half of the pond, where I've got the other remaining filter in over there, there's still a lot of muck on the bottom. But in and around and nowhere else, with the fish cruising around and swimming by, it's sucking it up and it's drawing it up. And when I look in the bottom of the barrel, it's all settled on the bottom, which I'm pretty happy with that. The bottom drain is doing a brilliant job. I mean, it's only temporarily in at the present as it is like this, but it's definitely made a big difference. Certainly made the bottom of the pond a lot cleaner. Um, one thing we haven't to switch it all off and get it all prepped and ready, it will allow me to be able to come in, because obviously I'm going to have to drain all the system down again, but I will be able to get this um, gate valve in place then I'm going to pop this in here with the two spaces to cut the pipe and put them back in which means then I'll be able to shut the valve off and only if you ever need to service the pump or anything I'll only have this little bit here you know a couple of inches of, of water which will be minimum spillage at the moment none of this bit has been solvent welded as I've already said that's all loose so it's just literally as a temporary flow back so I can see how much I could get it to run it's been running for three hours or so, it's not overflowed on the lowest setting, but the staggering side of things is going to have to be done. What I will say is, when I did switch it on, filling three of these barrels from the pond took a good three inch, maybe four inches of water out of the pond, which I'm quite happy about on that because obviously when I, when I do get it running right and get it stepped down and flowing back properly, when I do come to do a good clean, I am going to be taking out a fair good bit of water when I, you know, 100 litres out, 100 litres out, 100 litres out. And then each time I do a, a boil up and a clean down of the filter system, it will mean that I've got a good, good partial water change done. So it'll be, it, it's good. I'm surprised how much it took out, which is a plus side. I'm not looking at it as a negative because at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's going to be done weekly, that means I'll always be replenishing my water and making sure I get a good regular top up with fresh clean water as well. So that's one bonus. Um, quite surprised just how far it took it down. Like I said, every day is, uh, every day is a school day, I'm learning from it and it is a, a build process that I'm, I'm enjoying doing so I'm not going to be disheartened by it at the end of the day. People said it would do. I kind of suspected it might need to be altered and changed in itself as it is, but 
you know, we, I, I'm, if I'd if I'd got plenty of brass and plenty of money, I'd have just gone out there and bought one. But for me, I wouldn't have had the fun and the pleasure of making it. So, as they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Those that were uh, in the know and a bit more experienced than myself uh, predicted it, and uh, you know, yeah, fair enough. We'll. Uh, I said if we need to do, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Well, this is the bridge, and we're about to cross it. A couple of minor adjustments, it's a few bits and bats, a few more pieces to buy, but still going to end up being a heck of a lot cheaper than uh, a full on bought filler system. So, note to self, guys, stagger them. They need to be staggered so you get the flow flowing out. So, anyway, like I said, guys. Um, the usual thing, if you're enjoying the content, please do us a huge, huge, huge favour, like, share and subscribe, tell a friend. Big thanks to all those people who have subscribed, big thanks to all those people that have pushed me over the 500 mark. Really am appreciated, I've got my community tab as well now, so like I say, like I do, keep smiling guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy, see you all soon.